and don't be making some portraits of extremists and angry women, angry Muslim women with niqab. <laughs> Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome back to my channel I'm Anna P So in today's video oh Wait, there's a cat there <laughs> It distracted me Oh, he's so cute He doesn't see me Yeah, but anyway This video Is actually a serious Kind of video As you know, if you Have seen the news from Switzerland, Switzerland, Switzerland. Okay. Anyway, they actually banned the niqab, sadly, and on Women's Day. Uh, I find it very hypocritical, to be honest, because um, these are people who say they are all about freedom, but really, it is only freedom if they live by their rules so it's not really freedom they want to call women oppressed and <laughs> they are the one who are oppressing them actually it's really not a good thing even though they see it as they are progressing it's actually not because actually you are taking away their rights which is completely wrong <laughs> If you are all about freedom, as you say. Uh, this news was actually shared in Iceland, like in Icelandic news. The most famous Icelandic news. This news was actually shared and they talked about this ban. And I was not surprised that a lot of people liked it, this story, and they thought it was a good thing. I'm not surprised because I have seen it here before. I've seen people comment against Muslims, against Islam. And I know that a lot of people here in Iceland don't support Islam. And yes, it is very sad because, you know, people say they are all about freedom and freedom of choice and all this. When really they are only for this when people are following what they are doing so where is the freedom in that if you want freedom then let people choose what they want to wear for, first of all yeah first of all that should be a woman's choice it, it should not be a man's choice for what a woman should wear and we women, Muslim women, we don't wear it because some men told us to do it. No, it's something that Allah commanded for us women is to cover. Hijab is mandatory, but niqab is not mandatory in Islam. But there are women who choose to wear niqab because they want to be even closer to Allah. And that is what makes them feel more closer to Allah. And that is their decision, that is their choice, like they are not forced to wear niqab because it's not even mandatory in Islam. However, it is mandatory to wear hijab, but that doesn't mean that a human being should force someone to wear hijab. Because we all are Muslims, we all know what the Quran says, and then it's up to us. To do what we want to do at the end of the day like we all have a free will and we all have our own lives to decide this is the point of this life you know this is why Allah gave us life to begin with was to test us and it's our choice so it's all up to us how we live our life and then in the end Allah is the judge and Allah knows our intentions. Just like if someone is forced to wear hijab or niqab and you don't really want to wear it, then 
Allah will know your intentions anyway. Basically, your intentions are very important in Islam. And I really just didn't like the comments that many Icelandic people commented out of ignorance and out of what they see on the media, which is not real Islam. And they see it as they are all forced to wear it or something like that. And that's not the case. People need to educate themselves. And I know that Iceland is very ignorant when it comes to Islam. I know that for sure they don't know a lot about Islam because there is no education here about Islam. And if there is, then it's only very, very basic things that are just general things that are taught in schools that okay they don't eat pork and they fast during Ramadan you know these basic things but they don't teach that about for example hijab they only maybe teach that you know this is what women wear but they don't teach about why women wear hijab they don't go in details about these things so I understand that people don't know it and they only see what media shows. I've seen personally niqabis, many niqabis say that they are wearing hijab because they want to be closer to Allah themselves and they choose to wear niqab, they like and love wearing niqab. I completely respect that and I hope everyone else respects that. There were some people in the comments here in the in the Icelandic news comments who actually did defend this and did say that this was wrong to ban the niqab because yes you are taking away their freedom to choose and this will not improve anything and these people actually were all people who either knew some Muslim in their life or they were married to a Muslim so that just shows that these are people who know real Muslims who see the other side of it but the other ones who you know they don't know real Muslims and they know, don't know Islam they only believe whatever other people say basically everyone believes whatever other people say here this is how it is. People here are all about being very similar to others. Here people care a lot about what other people think and they care about other people's opinion. And this is why most people, they do the same things, they follow the same things because they don't want to stand out. But I really appreciate everyone who is defending this because it is wrong, it is very wrong to say how a woman should dress, like it's her choice and you are taking that away from her and you are the one oppressing her. And I also, I didn't like in the comments, I saw that, oh, this is for freeing them and this is because their fathers and their brothers and the males of their family tell them to dress like this, but no, like, did you ask them why they dress like this? Like, don't make up your own own theories in your mind. And don't just make up your own assumptions. Yeah, it is more than that. And I know that people here in Iceland, many people don't care about religion and are atheists. Most people are atheists here in Iceland and they don't understand why someone would cover up for Islam or for God. They don't understand this because they don't have God in their lives. So you can never understand a person who believes in God if you yourself don't believe in God. So anyway, I also want to say one more thing before I end this video. No matter how much people try to destroy Islam. Islam will always win no matter what. So at the end of the day, people will not lose their faith only because people are trying to 
force them to dress how they want them to dress. Then the they they are still gonna be Muslims and they're still gonna live their lives to please Allah, which it should be. Alhamdulillah. But we do not tell others how to live and they are free to live how they want to live. So we should also be free to live how we want to live. It only makes sense. Also, I didn't like in the comments that they were talking about the woman will not be able to identify herself for emergency reasons. For example, if the police will have to identify her, then they will not be able to see her because she's wearing a face veil. Okay, first of all, if it's an emergency or for medical reasons, she can take her wheel up to show her face. Also, there are female officers that she can ask for. So, yeah, it's not a problem really. But people make it a problem when it really is not. And all I can say is they need to educate themselves about this and to respect people and respect their religion, respect their choices. That's it. You cannot force everyone to be the same like you or think like you. So just let people do and live how they want. And don't be making some portraits of extremists and angry women, angry Muslim women with niqab, with some evil look come on now this is how they want to portray us but really muslim women are from the muslim women i have talked to they have been very nice every one of them have been very nice to me every muslim woman i've talked to whether it's born muslim or muslim revert they have all been very nice to me and even much nicer than non-muslim i've experienced some very mean angry non-muslims <laughs> in my life so i'm not saying that there are not bad muslims because i've seen that also majority are very nice people and if you do follow islam properly then that automatically will make you a very nice person so alhamdulillah for Islam and alhamdulillah like all we can say is this alhamdulillah no matter what because no matter what we will end up being stronger and nothing will stop us and Allah knows best and Allah will see everything. So thank you all for watching this video and I hope to see you all in my next video inshallah. Salam alaikum. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh.